How to fix crash dump initialization failed, event ID 46. Event ID 46 error means that your system could not create a dump file when it encountered a crash or a blue screen. A dump file is a file that contains information about the cause and the state of the system when the crash occurred. It can help you diagnose and troubleshoot the problem. There are several possible reasons why this error may occur, such as, your computer boots without a configured dump file. The default dump file is the page file, which is a file that acts as a virtual memory for your system. If the page file is not set up properly, the system may not be able to create a dump file. Your BIOS or UEFI firmware is outdated or incompatible with your system. The BIOS or UEFI firmware is a software that controls the basic functions of your hardware. If it is not updated or compatible with your system, it may cause conflicts or errors with your system. Your memory dump settings are incorrect or disabled. The memory dump settings determine how much information is stored in the dump file and where it is located. If the settings are incorrect or disabled, the system may not be able to create a dump file. To fix this error, you can try some of the following solutions, enable memory dump settings. You can do this by going to settings system about advanced system settings startup and recovery settings write debugging information and selecting complete memory dump from the drop down menu. Generate memory dump file manually. You can do this by using the registry editor to create a new dword value named crash on control scroll under h key underscore local underscore machine backslash system backslash current control set backslash services backslash iad 42 prt backslash parameters and setting its value data to 1. Then, you can press control plus scroll lock twice to force a system crash and generate a memory dump file. Roll back BIOS or UEFI firmware. You can do this by going to your motherboard manufacturer's website and downloading the previous version of the BIOS or UEFI firmware. Then, you can follow the instructions on how to flash or install the firmware on your system. Perform a system restore. You can do this by booting from a Windows installation disk or recovery drive and selecting repair your computer troubleshoot advanced option system restore and choosing a restore point that was created before the error occurred.